news for the Dallas Mavericks, and this is some more unfortunate news for them. We talked about Donnie Nelson leaving. Rick Carlisle will not return as the Dallas Mavericks head coach after 13 seasons. Nate, this right here was a shock to me. This right here was a shock to me. This is actually Rick Carlisle's decision to leave. Um, and he has a quote right here. He said, and I quote, after a number of in-person conversations with Mark Cuban over the last week today, I informed him that I will not be returning as head coach of the Dallas Mavericks. This was solely my decision, my family, and I have had an amazing 13-year experience working for working with great people in a great city. Uh, Carlisle, 61 years old, he said it has been an honor to work aside uh, or work alongside, excuse me, several members of the Mavs organization, specifically naming Mark Cuban, Donnie Nelson, CEO uh, Sint Marshall, uh, Vice President of Basketball Operations Michael Finley, Assistant General Manager Keith Grant, and co-stars of 2010-2011 championship team Dirk Nowitzki and Jason Kidd. And um, he also said, Dallas will always be home, and I am excited about the next chapter of my coaching career. Uh, a little bit on Rick Carlisle. He is, has a career record of 836 wins, 689 losses. Um, he he has been the uh, head coach of the Detroit Pistons and Indiana Pacers before re- arriving in Dallas in 2008. And obviously, Nay, you know, we we don't got to talk about it. Rick Carlisle is an NBA champion. You know, he ended up winning the championship with the Dallas Mavericks in uh, 2011. And, yeah, Nay, I mean, I got to get – look he's had a great career in Dallas and um and actually Mark Cuban has a statement as well and I'm gonna read that he says and I quote I truly love Rick Carlisle he was not only a good coach but also a friend and a confidant our relationship was so much more than basketball and I know that won't ever change and according to Mark Cuban the Mavs will hire a hire a new head of basketball operations before conducting a coaching search Cuban has hired uh, Mike Ford, Sportsology, a consultant firm uh, frequently used by NBA teams hiring general managers to assist in the search for uh, Nelson's replacement. We obviously talked about that. So you know what, Nate? I'll let you start off first. But before I do, the uh, source for this article was Adrian Wojnarowski and Tim uh, McMahon, ESPN. So your thoughts on Rick Carlisle leaving the Mavs? Oh, first of all, best of luck to uh, Rick Carlisle um, in his future endeavors. Uh, yeah, Mario, it's just another team looking for a coach. And this really shocked me, too, because, again, he's been with this team for a while. He's an NBA champion. We all know this. And it really shocked me, you know, um, because not only did uh, not only did he, he not return, but Donnie Nelson, we just talked about him yesterday, I believe it was, or either yesterday or a couple of days ago. He's not returning either. So there's a lot going on with the Dallas Mavericks as well, you know. Um it's kind of similar to the Celtics situation, only with the Celtics, they had someone immediately replace that uh, Danny Ainge when he retired, when he announced his retirement. But um, yeah, Mario, um, it's it's just you know the Dallas Mavericks has to go looking for a head coach now. But Mark Cuban said he would find um a president of basketball operations first before he would um find the coach, which makes sense, you know. Um, you gotta have that person try and come up with that final decision. Like it, that, that really comes down to like the front office decision, you know. And to not have that one person help you find that person, you gotta have you gotta find that one person first before you can go on to that head coach. So that does make sense why he would do that. Um, but I think about it, you know, Mario, and I'm not so. It's gonna whoever becomes the next head coach of the Dallas Mavericks, it's gonna be tough to fill in his, uh Rick Carlisle's shoes. You know, he's done. He's done a lot for this Dallas Mavericks organization. Again, he's an NBA champion. And I know that was over a decade ago, but he still remained to be an elite head coach. You know, especially in his last few years as 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 the coach of the team. So, I'm curious to see what happens with the Dallas Mavericks. They're just another team that's looking for a coach. And I know the Celtics are looking for a coach. The Trailblazers, the Pacers, the um the Magic are looking for one as well. Oh, I'm trying to think. I know there's a couple more out there. Um. I'm trying to think. Those are the ones off the top of my head. Um, yeah, but you get my point. There's a lot of teams out there looking for a coach, and the thing is, is that there really isn't a lot of other coaches out there. You know, that they're starting to become more candidates, but there's really not that many of them that have like a, a relatively um decent resume, especially one that's um on the level of Rick Carlisle. So it's going to be tough to replace him, but. They're going to have to. So with that being said, you know, best of luck to the Dallas Mavericks and trying to find a new head coach and best of luck to them and trying to find a new um, uh, president of basketball operations as well. 
Um, and best of luck to uh, Rick Carlisle in his future endeavors. Yeah, well, first of all, best of luck to Rick Carlisle and whatever he decides to do in his coaching career. As for the Dallas Mavericks, yeah, it looks like this team is falling apart. You know, two longtime members are leaving. They First it was Donnie Nelson, then it was Rick Carlisle, you know. And Mark Cuban is a very, very smart businessman. Don't get me wrong on that. Very smart. Okay, but he has to figure this out quick. Okay, because you just lost two longtime members, you know. And, and, and again, it's got to be tough for Mark Cuban because of the relationship that you have built within those years with those guys, you know. Now, I'm going to go to a specific team, okay. And I'm going to tell this team right now. Brad Stevens and the Boston Celtics, you cannot screw this up. You cannot screw this up. Get this man. There is no other guy to get. You want me to explain why, Nate? This man, Rick Carlisle, played three seasons for the Boston Celtics, won an NBA championship with them. He had a five-year career. He had a tour with Brooklyn and the New York Knicks. They don't need a head coach. Get Rick Carlisle. You want you want to you want Brad Stevens? You want to find the best head coach? There's your guy right there. Now, obviously, this is the best head coach in the market, but the reason why I point to the Boston Celtics is because A, he has history with them. Okay. And B, this is a very, very good head coach that I think Brad Stevens should really invest in. Okay. Like, I mean, like, I mean, I don't think Rick. What better way, man? What, what what better way, Nate? I'd love that. For Rick Carlisle to return to Boston. I'd love that. Now, could he go back to Indiana? Sure. Detroit? Sure. Why not? Okay. If he wanted to. But the thing is, I don't see those happening again. I think that this is the guy Brad Stevens used to get. Rick Carlisle right here. I don't think there's another guy. All right. Simple as that. And the and that's the reason right there. He has history with this team. He's won an NBA championship with this team. Very, very good head coach, Nate. Rick Carlisle is a very good head coach, you know? He's been there through it all. He knows what it takes to be a winning head coach in this league. He knows how to win an NBA championship because he has done it, you know? He has coached legends from Dirk Nowitzki to Jason Kidd. He has coached uh, future legends like Dirk, uh, excuse me, like uh, Luka Doncic. He had, again, he's coached all-stars. You name it, he's done it, okay? He's coached Jason Kidd. Um, he, he again, he's, he's coached Luka Doncic, he's won an NBA championship, he's coached Jason Kidd. So, when you're able to look at it, Nate, this is the guy you need to get right here. Okay, I say this is the, obviously the best head coach I think on the, on the market right now. That's the guy you go grab if, I, if, the, if I'm the Boston Celtics, just because of the history and just because of what he has done. So, with that being said, you know, I wish Rick Carlisle the absolute best of luck in his future endeavors wherever he decides to go, and we'll see what happens.